Halo Infinite campaign is finally out and in today's video I give you my thoughts and first impressions of this new Halo game. You know I've been a huge Halo fan and I've played all of them and I really think that it's a great franchise. It's really the backbone of Microsoft and I know there's many fans out there. So uh, I put about five to seven hours into Halo Infinite campaign. You know, this is not a review, this is just my initial thoughts of it. And, you know, I wanna share with you why I like it and talk about some things I hope they address and improve upon. So sit back, relax, here we go. So this is just gonna be uh, some initial gameplay. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and feelings. I'm not gonna to try to spoil too many story elements, but I do wanna talk about what I really enjoyed about this halo experience you know last year they unveiled halo and i i actually was a critic of it i i thought it needed some polish the smartest thing that 343 industries did was delay and add some additional polish as you know i i i love halo games i think halo games for especially xbox fans is is one that they really enjoy playing uh you know for me you know, this classic first-person shooter franchise, you know, has evolved over time a little bit. I wasn't the biggest fan of Halo 5. I liked Halo 4 more, and I definitely like kind of the earlier Halo games as I felt that's what got the gameplay right. And so going back to this, I really like that they offered this on multi-tiered platforms, everything from the original Xbox One, which is almost 10 years old, this can still run on it. Now, I haven't played it on the original Xbox One. I know it's downgraded, but Digital Foundry did an awesome overview if you wanna check out their channel on how it runs on original hardware. I'm not gonna do that here. I'm running this on an Xbox Series X, which I've had for almost a full year. And, uh, you know, that's the one complaint I have for sure is, you know, that there's gonna be many people that are not gonna be able to play this optimally because they don't have the hardware because it's so hard to find an Xbox Series X still. Uh, you know, one very satisfying feature of this game are the boss fights. I really did like the boss fights. Uh, I'm not gonna give too much of the story away. I'm gonna show some gameplay, so this uh, just heads up, spoiler alert. But you know, I really enjoyed what I've played so far, some of the boss fights are awesome. You know, we definitely, there's some intensity involved. And you know, the first few levels, if you haven't noticed, are not open world. They're kind of more traditional Halo uh, design. And so for people that kind of want to go back to an old school Halo game, it's, it's a nice introduction to this game, but it definitely opens up as you play it. The, the, the core gameplay of Halo Infinite is open world. And so you can find all sorts of cool things in this game. You're, you can find audio files, you can find unlockables, and you can upgrade your Spartan. And I really like that, that you can upgrade and, and you can choose the upgrades too. I really think that's sweet as well. And so here's kind of a, a brief overview of the map and you can choose different destinations and choose different missions. Some missions are a lot harder than others. And so uh, I, this is the part where I really wish that, that campaign co-op was available. That's probably my biggest complaint of this game is that so much of this game would be more enjoyable if you're able to share it with a buddy and play co-op. And so that's my biggest probably frustration is I wish that this did have campaign co-op as there's so much of this world that would be enjoyed and appreciated with a buddy. And so, but uh, I have to say overall, I really have enjoyed what I've played so far. The grappling in the game really opens up the gameplay and exploration. And so you see something, you can typically get to it. And I like that. I like that aspect. It has, it adds a, like an exploratory level to a Halo design game. And so I, I think it was wonderful. I do like the level design. I found myself kind of exploring places and checking out things. And, and I think that is probably the strength of this game. It goes from kind of more of a 
semi-linear direction of previous Halo games and it opens it up. And I, I think it really adds an element that I think a lot of Halo fans are going to appreciate. Now, there's a lot of traditional vehicles in this game from previous Halo games. And, you know, here's Ghost, I, one of my favorites, especially in multiplayer. And, you know, I really enjoy just going around, just mowing over people, taking them out. Uh, you know, and I think uh, that is going to be something I'm looking forward to as they update this game. You know, especially, you know, in a Warthog with a with a buddy being able to go and take on different missions. As I think, you know, that's going to be a lot of fun, I think, in future versions of this. But single player experience is still a lot of fun. You can uh, rescue Marines. They can join your Warthog, which is definitely a strength. I do recommend that if you're going to be playing this to rescue Marines and have them join you. As if anything, they're kind of like a, a distraction to the enemies as you progress in this game. And so this is uh, the tower. This is what I'm trying to take out. So you rescue these Marines, kind of cool. And you know, this is my first time playing the campaign. There's also some simple puzzle mechanics. So you have to take out things sometimes to unlock and uh, complete various locations or sometimes you're destroying you typically are destroying things uh, and once you destroy the majority of something at a particular location it becomes unlocked and so there's lots of hidden secrets to skulls and items that aren't necessarily easy to find i found myself exploring every nook and cranny i typically like those types of games where there's little hidden secrets and and uh, this does a great job of kind of sprinkling in uh, some hidden things, some items, some audio files. And I, I think that is the strength of Halo Infinite, as I think it really doesn't break the basic gameplay that people love in Halo, but also adds a new gameplay element that I think people are going to really appreciate. So here's me. I picked up some Marines driving on a Warthog. And, you know, uh, it's fun to see. I love that you can see a location off in the distance and you can go to it. I think that's awesome. Uh, weapons, the weapons themselves are fantastic. I really did enjoy what they've done with uh, various weapons. There's a few that are my favorite. Uh, you know, definitely the battle rifle. Obviously, you have the sword here, which is, which is amazing. And so uh, I do like the weapons and what they did. They are very satisfying from what I've played so far. And going to various locations and then, um, you know, either discovering them or unlocking them or then uh, turning them to your side, that's awesome. I, I love that. I love that you can kind of choose where to go too. And so once you progress in this game, I think that many people are going to like it. Now, I have not beat it. Um, I've, I've heard that people would want kind of more diversity with kind of how the areas and levels look. But so far, I really have enjoyed this. I really like the upgrade system too. I think that adds uh, a, definitely a neat element to gameplay as, you know, it's very important as you progress in this game, upgrading your shield and, you know, the grapple shot is definitely one that many people are recommending. And so... While I haven't played it on the original Xbox One to see how it runs, I do have a good friend who's a big Halo fan who has an original Xbox One. He saw the reviews of this online and decided to pick up a physical copy of it. And he is overall satisfied with how it's running. And he's happy that Microsoft has not forgotten about people who have older hardware that this uh, can run on and while it's not perfect uh, my friend did state that he was very satisfied with what he has played so far and it's nice to see that while the game is not complete and there's additional modes that hopefully they'll add overall i think you definitely if you're a fan of first person shooters or a fan of the halo franchise this is a worth at least checking out on game pass if you have it it gets my thumbs up Overall, I think it's a great experience. I do hope that they add additional content as I think it needs it, but I think it's a solid Halo. Um, I think if you're a fan of kind of the early Halo games, this definitely kind of harkens back to that gameplay. And I think it's overall a wonderful game. 
Is it perfect? No. I do think that uh, not having co-op as an option with this release, you know, that's going to be disappointing for some, but they do plan on adding that as well as Forge, as I know that is a huge, uh, wonderful addition to previous Halo games that many people love to play around and make their own levels. And there's a lot of creative people out there that are gonna make some amazing things. So what did you think? Have you checked it out? It is on Game Pass. I did get a physical version of this from GameStop, the Steelbook version. And you know, it came with a, a bonus a dog tag. And so that's kind of cool. And you know, I think overall it's 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 a it's a good Halo so far. Uh, I plan on beating it over the holidays when I have more time. And just wanted to share my thoughts of this and share some gameplay. I think that many people out there, especially fans of the Halo franchise, are going to be happy with what they delivered. And so thank you so much for watching my channel. I thought I'd do a fun video today for Friday. And. I, as always, thank you for coming to my channel and watching my videos. If you're new and haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading new content every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.